I'm Lori with Murray Hunting Accessories. Today we're going to get some wild hogs for you. There's a big misconception that wild hogs are going to be very gamey, very tough, and that they're not very good to eat. Well, we're here to show you some awesome recipes that will change your mind about that. Today we're going to be cooking the front shoulder of about a 180 pound wild boar. Um, we let it marinate in Italian dressing overnight. Uh, we don't use it for flavor. It's more or less just for the oils to get into the skin and to soften it up a little bit. By the way, props to Jeff and Coral Swindle from Marble Falls, Texas for sending us this recipe. We tried it once, fell in love. I've done it quite a bit since then. It's a real simple recipe. Uh, you leave in the whole front shoulder. You're not boning it out or anything. Um, we are going to take about eight hours to slow cook it. Um, it's a great weekend recipe. It feeds about eight to ten people, um, depending on the size of the hog. Um, right now we're going to wash off the Italian dressing. Once again, we're not using the Italian dressing with flavor. We're just going to wash it off. Like I said before, this is an all-day cooker. Uh, cook it for seven hours, turns into like a roast. Pulls right off the bone so easily. It's so soft and smooth. Um, we're going to actually cook it for an extra hour today. Um, we're going to put it in a wok with all of its juices, and we're going to make pulled pork tacos with it. So we're going to cook this for about 7 hours at 250 degrees. A lot of people think that pork is really dry, but it is only dry if you overcook it. So we just finished putting the rub on. We're going to put, top it off with foil. You don't need to add anything else to the pan. The juices itself will cook in the pan and it's awesome. So we're going to put it in the oven for about 7 hours at 250. So we're going to put it in. And we recommend basting it every few, every once in a while just to keep the juices on top. So the hog's been in the oven about 3 hours now. We're going to go ahead and baste it just to keep it all moist. So it's been about 7 hours since we put the hog in. So we're going to go ahead and take it out. As you remember, we did not add anything into the pan after we did the rub. You're going to be amazed by the amount of juices in here. Now you can either eat it as it is now, as a roast, or take it one step further like we are, and we're going to make it into some pulled pork tacos. So we're going to debone everything now. Now we don't want to waste any of these really good juices. So we're going to go ahead and cut all the meat off the shoulder bone, and we're going to cook it for about an hour, another hour in the big wok. After it's all cut into pretty small pieces, go ahead and dump those back in the pan, add your juices, and get it boiling. A higher heat will definitely help the meat break down and shred apart easier. You don't want your meat to dry out, so if it gets low, just add a cup or two of chicken broth. Stir it pretty frequently and monitor the boil to not let it dry out. For our tacos, we're going to make a Thai peanut coleslaw to complement the pork, and we're going to serve them on a warm corn tortilla. After about an hour in the wok, the meat will be broken down and be incredibly tender. There you go, an all-day cooker making the finest wild boar tacos. If you have a killer hog recipe, send it to us on our Facebook page. And maybe we'll include it on our next episode. Thanks for watching. To check out more of our videos, go to slowglowhunting.com. Good luck hunting.